Alright, what's going on guys? So this is my swap belt with the D-rings. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I feel like this is going to help a lot of SWAT guys, you know, ERT, SRT guys that are actually running gas mask. Um, it's going to give you a different solution uh, for you to run your gas mask. That way it's not on your, just on your carrier. Um, and also because anytime I post a picture or a video about my belt, I get a lot of questions about the D-rings and some of you guys already know that I use these to attach my gas mask to it because you guys have been following me for a while. But if you guys are new, this video is for you. Um, the way that I run my D-rings, the one in the front, it's actually going around the whole belt. You guys can see that. And the only reason for that is because I did not want to waste a uh, molly space just for this because I wanted my tacos to be close to each other. The one on the back, however, it is actually going through a molly just because I had the extra space. Um, I don't really feel this on me whenever I have my belt on, so it's not really as far as comfort-wise, like I don't feel it at all. Um, and the reason why I went with these heavy-duty ones is because these are the ones I had laying around. Literally, that's the only reason. So you don't have to go with something this heavy-duty. You can go with something a lot less. Uh, this is just what I had at the time. So put on your belt just like that. And I'm going to show you guys my gas bag. So this gas bag or gas mask bag or bag for my gas mask is made by Point Blank. I don't know the model because it doesn't have any labels other than the little Point Blank right there at the bottom. This is what I get issued. I've been asking around. Nobody knows. But you guys can see that it has a molly because it was meant so you can actually put it on the molly. Now you'll see a lot of teams, they'll run their gas mask back here, right? So the only problem with this, there's a couple of problems. I want to be able to be self-sufficient so uh, you'll see a lot of people have somebody pass them their their gas mask because they can't reach or you know once you're done with your operation you can't put it away by yourself and you have to depend on other people to do your a job that you can do by yourself um, and I get it job is done you know somebody can help you out but I just want to be self-sufficient so I don't run mine in the back for those reasons also because uh, in the Bearcat or anytime you're sitting down you're gonna be all slanted and stuff and it just kind of messes up, you know, with your back and all that. So I don't like that. I don't like running it on the side either. You'll see a lot of people running their gas mask right here. And you guys can already see that it gets in the way of all of this. So I don't like that. And it's just not comfortable for me. And then if you're running it over your pistol, now you're just being silly. This should be straight up common sense. There should be nothing right here. Everything should be slick. So it's this thing is coming out. It's not getting cut up on anything. Um, the way that I'm running this you guys can see the ones in the middle are just straight and out of the way and then the ones on the end i made this loop by just going through the bottom piece and then just clipping it and just leaving the loop right here so then i go I'll latch put that in there put the one in the back end first then get the one in the uh, front and now i got my gas mask nice and secure to my side i can get to it by myself i can put it away from my by myself i don't have to depend on other people uh, this I like because it's just, it, it's literally right there. The only con to this is that if you're doing a boss assault or any sort of linear assault with very narrow aisles, you're going to get caught up like this. So the solution to that is to take away the clip from the front or unclip it from the front and then just let it hang from the back just like this. Now you can go through those narrow hallways, you know, in a bus and not have to worry about this getting caught up because it will get caught up. Um, and then once you're done, if you want it to be nice and secure, then you can just latch it back up. Um, I think that's about it. So I can't think of anything else other than uh, what we went over. So if you guys have any other questions in regards to this setup right here, uh, put it down below in the comments. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys like, uh, you know, hit the little like button. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and make, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this um, and also get a little post notification. But uh, I think that's about it, guys. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. For those guys carrying gas masks, it's a different solution. It's just it's a, a solution for a problem. You know, maybe it's just easier for you. Um, I know that everybody that's tried it so far has liked it. Um, I'll give you another tip, though. Whenever you guys are done, if you're one of those that's used to carrying it on the back, since you are brand new to this, make sure you put this inside your vest, your entry kit. So that way, whenever you go to put your stuff on, put this on first because if you put your entry kit in for, on 
first, it's gonna be a pain to put this on. So put this on first, that way, also because you have it in the inside, you're not gonna forget it. We've had guys that forgot their gas mask and, uh, and we ended up you know, being in a gas environment and you know, they have to suck it up. So put it inside, grab it, throw it on, put your entry kit and get to work. So take it easy, until next time.